What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video and guys today we are going to go over the top snipe filters in NBA 2K20 right now. Um, we're just going to go over a bunch of pretty much every snipe filters in the game. Before we get into it make sure to drop the sub, drop the like and all that good stuff because that would be greatly greatly appreciated. We're also on the road to 10k so yeah that would be really appreciated if you do drop the sub. Also we got the Twitter selling buying MT looking to buy some MT on Xbox and PS4 so let me know if you do have some. And uh, yeah, pretty much, let's get into some snipe filters. So if you guys do know, they did drop Opal LeBron. And honestly, he's still really expensive. So I'm going to go over some snipe filters you should be doing. And let's see if this Opal. So right now, the Opal Western filter is pretty deadly. So this is a really good Opal filter. This is how you refresh. You literally just have to move the minimum buyout up. And obviously, dude, Opal Western is going to be very competitive. A lot of people are going to be on it. This is on Xbox, by the way. So if you're on PS4, it might feel a little bit different. But yeah definitely a good method right here opal western solid 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 method so try out the opal filter one of the best filters in the game i would definitely recommend it let's get into some other filters let's get into some easier filters so this is an easier filter a little competitive but it's a you have a good chance of getting it more stuff more stuff does pop up on pink diamond and again today is sunday so you should probably sell your cards it's sunday nothing's really crazy right now obviously lebron's in packs and stuff there is a market crash but that's not the point I would just really recommend you do try out this pink diamond filter. There's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of movement in this filter. So definitely try it out. It's a good filter. I definitely recommend. So try this out. Pink diamond filter, galaxy oval filter. Let's get into the next filter. This one is the most consistent. This one is going to get you the most MT fast. So now here it is. Simple. Um, There it is right there. We got a snipe. I don't even have enough MT. I have 300 MT. I have no MT. Don't worry. My MT will be back up very soon. So here it is. That's about web for 1200. He's probably going to end up going for like two to three K soon. So if you want to invest, definitely worth it. But on this filter, you get a lot of other cards and you can get a lot. You can get a lot of cards that go for two, three K. So if you're constantly flipping at two to three K, you can make a lot, a lot, a lot of MT. So there's three filters. All right. So this next knife filter is pretty solid. Now, this knife filter, honestly, I'm going to just tell you this right now. Off new content, basically. Um, off these snipe filters, it's going to be based off new content a lot of the time. So two snipe filters I want to recommend are these two guys right here. Because if you think about it, they're in packs. They're going to pop up a lot more frequent than most cards. Yeah, it kind of does botch the value between other cards. You can't really see a lot of cards in these filters. But here's the thing, man. I'm telling you right now, if you if you struggle on big filters, this is going to be the filter for you. Especially, you don't need a lot of MT. So... Westbrook, here it is, man. Um, he's probably he's not too expensive, but if you think about it, there's probably gonna be a lot of kids be like, yo, I just pulled Westbrook Center. This card is literally not valuable. So here it is, man. Seven Ks, bro. He's going for over eight K. Here's the filter. It's perfect. If you buy those cards out, I wish I had the MT. You could flip them for like eighty five hundred. Like those cards right there just sold already. So as you can see, there's kids in the filter. They're making some MT. There's another one for sixty nine hundred. So this filter is gonna be really deadly. Like 6,900, if I had the MT, I could flip that, make a quick 2,000 to 1,000 MT clean. Um, so yeah, right there. If I would have got that for 60, if I got that for 7K, I could have sold it for 9. I could have made a clean 1,300 MT in a second. If I got the others two for 7K, I could have made another 1,300 MT in a second. So with that being said, you could have made about 5K MT in one second. In literally one second. So as you can see, this filter is worth it. Let's get into the Robin filter. There's definitely a lot more filters I'm gonna go over in this. We're pretty much gonna do like about 10 snipe filters, and I'm gonna show you what are the best. So here we go. Dennis Robin. I think Robin's running around 20k. I actually picked him up for like 50k. That was an L for that gameplay, but here it is, man. Dennis Robin Pink Diamond. Um, so he's going for around 25. I would recommend you get them for 20. You can flip them for 25 quick. Would people put them up for 25, 20K? It's probably possible. I mean, I snipe mine out. When he first dropped, he, I got him for 50 and he was like 70. I could have sold them, but I didn't. But just know on the Friday the packs come out, 
These cards are a lot. Like every Friday when packs come out, these snipe filters are going to be key. Whatever the diamond is, whatever the pink diamond is, you definitely want to pay attention to because it is key. So definitely Dennis Rodman. Westbrook's going to be the more consistent one. Rodman's going to be a decent one, I would say. So he's definitely a good filter. Let's get into this filter because this fill. Oh, I already said the Ami. So we're going to get into this one. This one's just a 650 method. Pretty much anything pops up you want to buy. It's very consistent. I heard it's a lot better on PS4. 110% better on PS4. So... Definitely try out this filter. I would definitely recommend trying out this filter. For some reason on Xbox, it's broken. And also, for all you guys trying to sell cards, try to lay away from selling cards around 5 to 7 Eastern. Because that's when the market does break. So if you have Opals, don't put them up at 2. If you want to put them up, put them up after the auction block breaks. If the auction block breaks, they're going to be solved. They're going to be okay. You're not going to lose MT. So that's just a little tip for you guys. Um, let's keep thinking. So this filter is obviously definitely really good. One filter that is slow, but you can make a lot of MT off because they're no longer in packs is heat checks. Heat checks are no longer in packs. These cards go for a lot. Personally, I was trying to finish my collection and yeah, I got screwed by the heat check. So heat checks for 3k. You really don't think someone's going to put up a heat check for a thousand MT? Like it's going to happen. I've seen it all year. It happened all year. Yeah, there's a small abundance of them. No one's really posting them up, but kids will end up posting them. And when they do, you could literally snipe these out so easily. Like, this Markel folds for 3k. I bet you he goes for a little bit more. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. But it's just showing that there is action. So, 3k. There is none on this filter, bro. There is absolutely nothing on this filter. So, what that means is, there's a really big chance that you could buy it for 3 and possibly sell it for 9. Because kids need to do these collections to get collector level. Yeah, some people did do collector level already. But if they're still trying to, they're going to need to buy the heat check. So, if you ended up doing that, if you want to... Do the heat checks or want to get collector level that's going to be the cards that you're going to miss like most of the cards that i'm missing are heat checks for my collector level so heat checks definitely a good one next one the diamond filter here it is man um this filter's been money since day one it's absolutely amazing like straight up i would just put your max bid past the ma uh the max buyout and just simply refresh on the diamond filter this diamond filter has been good throughout the whole game and I really think you guys can continue to use this filter throughout the whole game, especially when new content drops. Like I said, bro, Diamond Filter is good because Westbrook is on it. Westbrook is pretty good profit. He might pop up a lot. So if instead of just doing a Westbrook filter, you could possibly do this filter. This filter might be a better method instead of Westbrook. Of course, in the video, nothing's going to pop up. But I know for a fact on PS4, it's a lot easier for stuff to pop up. So if I were you, I would definitely recommend trying this filter. And honestly, let me think. We got that filter. So we said about what? Like seven filters. Pink diamond, diamond. I mean, you could do ruby filter. I'm not totally sure about that. Um, let's see. Western, maybe western pink diamond. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Whatever you think is right. To be honest, right now, I'm going to sit. I would say I would sit on the diamond filter. Once I get my MT back up, I'm going to sell a couple things to get some MT. Start making my MT back. But yo, definitely diamond filter is going to be the most consistent out of them. And the 650 filter. Just... 650 filters a lot more competitive than the diamond filter and the pink diamond filter so yeah really that's all i got for the video hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for more content we're only gonna post one video today i'm honestly tired i'm gonna go take a nap so yeah hope you guys enjoyed have a good one Peace.